We are starting the show today with one of my favorite people, the man behind the chocolate at the legendary Bohm's Candy. Good morning, Bernard. Good morning. Bernard, can I just call you the candy man from now on? Can we just do that? It's one of the better words that I'd be called. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so you have one of the oldest shops in the Northwest where your history is just as rich as the truffles you make. You must be busy, busy behind the scenes at Bohm's right now. Yeah, very much so. We have uh, the traditional sales like we had in all this past years and years, but there's a little bit new twist coming along with it. Yeah. Uh, normally the ladies start uh, buying like one or two pieces for their loved ones. And then the man come in the last two or three days and buy anything what looks red and for any price range. <laughs> this year the man came earlier too and we sold a lot of our large presentations. $129, $89 hearts are already gone. Nothing there anymore. I saw that on your website. So the giant red heart, I have this one. And the giant red heart is sold out, which is great. So I love to hear that, that, that the husbands and the men's and the, and the partners are getting on this earlier. But are these still available, these ones? Yeah, this, this size is, we have quite a lot. And uh, we have a little bit, we always had this, but we have like Kissing Turtles, who is like a cute little entry for like a small, like for an office or a neighborhood handout. And uh, I, again, I did this years ago, brought in my alligator and staff, nobody in my staff, nobody thought I had any sense of, I, I was just stupid. <laughs> but we've today printed, made another dozen alligators. I have no idea why, but I think it looks beautiful. It's an alligator with two little red hearts and it's taken <laughs> off like crazy. Uh, well, you know, sometimes love takes a bite out of you, Bernard, so I love it. Um, and I have to say, these are just so beautiful. And my favorite ones are the little candies that are dusted with like a pink glitter. How do y'all do that? Well, we, 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 we strive on demand for the different holidays. We would make different finishes. Even this ladies behind me are the experts and the artisans who who are on top of all of it. But we will go along with a holiday and make holiday stripings or Easterly looking pastels or the red and the pink, yes. Oh, I love Easter at Bones. That's just one of my favorite times. Bernard, it was so nice to check in with you this morning. Um, we will, of course, check in with you again very soon, I hope, but any Valentine's advice out there? Uh, not really, come early because we will run out of stuff and uh, we, on, one of the difficulties was this Sunday is uh, Valentine, so only on Sunday will we make the strawberries, but we have then an extra crew making the strawberries fresh on site. We don't make them for being kept overnight. It really deteriorates the product. Yeah. And since there are less uh, people in the game of making strawberries this year, uh, we decided to do it regardless if Sunday is a difficult day for us to manufacture it. We also have some flower people coming out because we have, as you know, a larger property. So we will have flower sales, but it's not us, but we will we lend the, so the it, sales capacity to somebody else and the strawberries and the chocolate. It's a one-stop shop at Bohm's. Thank you so much, Bernard. We'll see you later, Candyman. Thank you. Thank you.